does that pull or feel tight to the patient anywhere along from lateral epicondyle into the extensor muscle mass all the way down the form to the point where they insert. Okay. If no, we bring everything back to neutral and we add one piece. We begin further taking up the slack in the wrist extensors by pronating. And now in pronation, still with the elbow flex. Flex the wrist. Does it pull? Do we get do we feel with the passive motion an elastic entry? Indicating the muscular shortening. If not, we do our third and final step. Okay. Um, and that's to fully extend the elbow. And in extension and forearm pronation. Passively flex the wrist to fully lengthen the wrist extensors. So here's our stretching position. It's one that you probably all know. Maybe have done to yourself. Go here. Neutral. Come back to the beginning. Pronate. Flex. Come back to the beginning. There's your third and final piece. wrist flexors. Neutral. Okay. Don't let the fingers extend. Can't shoot in the palm. Extend. Back to the beginning. Supinate. Extend. Feel for an elastic end feel. Ask the patient if they feel any pulling sensation now. Immediately. Down into here. Okay. Back to the beginning. Wrist neutral. Extend the elbows. Hold their arm up for them like this. Okay? And in supination. Does it become elastic? Do you feel that um, springy quality to it? That's sort of kind of what a muscle feels like a little bit. And, and does the patient feel pulling or reproduction of discomfort in the anatomically correct area here? That's it your muscle link testing um, for the wrist flexors and